Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I have the Android P beta installed on my Pixel 2 right here, and I wanna do a video talking about the complete overhaul to the navigation system on Android. Now, I will be doing a full overview of the Android P beta, so stay tuned for that. Be sure you are subscribed, uh, but for the time being, I wanna talk about the navigation system in depth and see how it might be similar to another phone that's out there. So here's my Pixel 2, and if I unlock it and swipe down, you will see that I am on the Android P beta program. Before I get started, I'd like to make a note that I had to jump into settings, go down to system, and then gestures to actually activate the new navigation system. So if I say swipe up on home button, that is the setting. I can actually turn it off, go back to that home back and recent apps buttons if I would like to and you'll see that back button shows up in the bottom left when it's an option to go back and disappears when it's not. Now let's go ahead and focus on the new navigation system. So a swipe up gesture gets you to these cards, these horizontal cards uh, that scroll left and right uh, as your recent apps. You can also go ahead and press and hold and it gives you haptic feedback left and right to quickly swap between apps and the app you uh, let go on is the one that opens. But for example, let's go into an app. So I'm opening up the Play Store and if I tap the home button, it just goes back home and you'll see a bit of a new animation uh, when pressing that home button. Now next up, uh, you can't swipe up anywhere, but if you swipe up towards the bottom half of the screen, uh, it will actually bring up those cards again, and you can swipe up again to get to your app drawer. Now if you slowly go up, you'll see it gives you suggested apps towards the bottom below the search bar, and then if you swipe up again is where that app drawer pops up. And as a quick tip, uh, not only can you swipe the home button left and right to quickly swap between apps, you could just give it a quick swipe over to the right and it will swap quickly back and forth between two separate apps on the fly, so very easy to multitask that way. No doubt worth mentioning, you can actually swipe up with one gesture to get to your app drawer when you're on your home screen. So you just continue to swipe up past those cards and that app drawer will pop up. There it is, real quick, just a quick easy motion. If you stop short, it will just open up those cards themselves. Now, if you are in an app and you want to go ahead and try and swipe up, you can't. You can't get to that app drawer without a two swipe gesture, which I think is how it should be. Here's also just a close look at some of the animations. When you press that home button, you still get those colored dots pop up. You can swipe over left and right on that bar. And if you swipe up, go tap to go back home. And you have a gesture to quick swap between apps. Just do a quick swipe to the right, back and forth. And you can really easily swipe between two apps as opposed to double tapping that recent apps button as you had before. Or of course, you can just swipe a little bit further and swipe back and forth between multiple apps. And of course, they haven't gotten rid of it. Just press and hold that home button and it will activate the Google Assistant. So that's about it for now on the new navigation system. I think it's going to take a bit of time to get used to, but I think overall it will allow for quicker speeds throughout the OS. But curious to hear from you guys. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you think you're going to stick with the home back recent app buttons, or if you'll actually switch to these more gesture-like controls on Android. Again, more videos on Android P and of course Google I.O. coming very soon, so be sure to click that subscribe button. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.